chewing well and at length is good for the health of both mouth and mind. But, however natural this may be, one must also learn to chew properly in the same way that one learns a correct oral hygiene. Maria Grazia Caggetti, aggregate professor of the Department of Biomedical, Surgical and Dental Sciences at the University of Milan, highlights how proper oral hygiene and correct chewing should go hand in hand and should be taught to children as soon as possible. Here are her tips. The most important and fundamental recommendation that everyone believes they already carry out is that of brushing their teeth and eating as correctly as possible, with as few simple sugars as possible. But, perhaps, the most important advice to be given is that of teaching children to chew properly. It seems a matter of course that everyone should acquire this skill independently, but unfortunately daily habits lead us to eat blended food. And as such, children become unaccustomed to solid food that is introduced later rather than sooner. Consequently, children don't learn how to chew properly. This leads to two problems. One, lack of self-cleansing by chewing, saliva and muscle use. Two, an incorrect growth because muscles are not working as they should when acting on the dental and bone structures. But how do you learn to chew? What can help? A chewing gum? Sicuramente l'uso del chewing gum può essere... Sure, the use of chewing gum can be an alternative to solid. This, of course, when children are already able to understand that at some point this must be spit out. Something that normally happens when they're three or four years old. But even a solid food, for example fruit, one with more fiber, can be used to learn this skill. Chewing gum can certainly be a strategy if the child likes it. Obviously, it must be a sugar-free chewing gum, because if on the one hand it provides a benefit, on the other it should not hypothetically increase those risk factors connected to cavities. Expanding further the research, it was discovered that not only children benefit from the consumption of chewing gum, adults also benefit from a series of positive effects and in some unexpected areas too. Chewing gum is certainly useful even in adulthood and, why not, even in old age, provided that there are enough teeth to chew, because it also has an important and improved action on the maintenance of good cognitive functions. It has been ascertained that chewing, and chewing for a long time, protects us from losing cognitive abilities and ultimately also from dementia. It is worth pointing out that the conclusions of scientific studies are already widely shared and understood by the medical community. The benefit of chewing has been known for some time and is now well established within the research community, both as regards the benefits of saliva and also in the prevention of certain pathologies that regard the facial massive structures. And in adults, there are many studies that tell us that the earlier you lose your teeth or the less they're used, the more likelihood there is of cognitive function loss. This knowledge is nowadays consolidated. At this point, given its beneficial effects, Chewing gum with its features and consumption methods have been subject to various medical studies and now researches have also been launched. There is quite a lot of research, for example, on xylitol, an ingredient recognized to help caries prevention, which could also be used to prevent certain diseases of the gum and tooth support tissues. Chew well to live better then? Absolutely yes. Chewing is good for digestion, gum health and teeth, but also for the brain.